All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Dell XPS 15 9570. So to do this, we're going to need a PH1 or JS1 screw screwdriver and a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. All right, so first thing, we're going to open up this cover here. Just lift this up and then remove the two screws under here. Sorry, I got hiccups right now. All right, you want to keep all these screws in order in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way you do that, put the flat side down in the pattern you remove remove them. So I'm gonna put these in the center on my desk and then I'm gonna have all these going around it. All right, so in that rectangular pattern. All right, so now we're gonna switch the T5, our Torx 5 screwdriver, and remove all these screws. Okay, just like this. Alright, if this video helps you, make sure to like, su subscribe, and share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to upgrade and repair their devices. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little bit to the channel so that I can continue making these videos for a living. I actually do these repairs for a living. This is a customer's computer, but as I continue to make more and more videos, people are able to open up and repair their own devices. So Actually, I decrease my amount of actual work that I get. So, yep. All right. Anyways, let's continue removing all these screws. <clears throat> this one, most likely a suction cup is going to help. All right. Last screw. All right. So let's go ahead and use a suction cup and see if we can pop off the cover okay so I'm using my um, palm or I don't know what you would call that the side of my fist there and pulling up on the suction cup and there you go you can see it actually lifted up this way so you might not actually need a suction cup you might actually be able to just go from here and kind of pull it up all right and then you kind of got to wiggle this be careful it feels like something is stuck under here that's kind of weird um, for some reason this microphone is stuck right here that shouldn't be that's kind of weird um yeah i don't know why that's stuck there so i'm gonna have to try and pull that away um <clears throat> let's see let's go ahead and use the screwdriver here and we're just gonna get that out just like that okay there we go and here you can see the customer was telling me that when the computer runs hot they were smelling a slight burning smell but I don't see anything in here it doesn't even look dirty or anything so <clears throat> excuse me I'm not too sure there's like almost no dust at all I mean there's a tiny bit but not really I don't smell anything I don't, I don't smell any burn smell or anything at all, so I don't know. I mean, I can brush the stuff off, but it's very, very light dust. I don't think that's going to do anything. So we'll just clean that out, and I guess we'll see. There's practically almost no dust at all. All right. Well get the little cracks here. Alright. <clears throat> Let's take a look here. So, I actually worked on this model before to repair the fans. But again, I don't see anything that looks any sign of burned. And I don't see anything weird. Anyways, there's an M.2 SATA, or sorry, M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD here. If you're going to remove that, you want to use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. I didn't open this to make sure it's off, but it should be off. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So there's one screw here holding the SSD into place. Let's come in here and show this. Okay. So we'll just remove that screw. Once you remove the screw, the SSD pops up slightly. Then you can grab this, wiggle it, and pull it back. And here you can see, oh, 
they put a thermal pad on here. So if you get a new SSD, you can actually move this thermal pad to the new one. But yeah, it's, it's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. All right, you don't want to get this thermal pad too dirty, so try and keep it try and keep it as nice as possible. I'm trying to see if it shows. Oh, yeah. okay, I saw the thing that says PCIe. I just wanted to confirm. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of even this out and stick that back on. All right, let's get the SSD back in. Yep, to put it at that angle like that. All right. <clears throat> and then push it down and get that screw into place. All right, then we got the RAM here. Just pull these two tabs to the side and then pull it out. We got PC4 2666V. You can put any PC4 2666V RAM as long as it's this lap laptop size. All right, eight gigs. You can get two 16 gig sticks if you want. All right, you got the wireless card here. There's one screw holding this bracket and then you can pull the antennas up by the tails. Um, I'm pretty sure I have another video of this showing the complete disassembly, but this one I'm just showing a quick look inside. Got the battery connector here. The connector I removed by just grabbing the wings of this or the extended part and I can wiggle it and pull it out. I don't want to pull it out though because then the BIOS will reset and everything. <coughs> All right. So again, this is just a quick look inside. You also got the DC jack or charge port connector right here. So if for some reason your charge port's broken, you can replace that, but you will have to remove, excuse me, the three screws here for the, um, uh, the hinge, and then you have to actually pull the hinge up. Um, the easiest way to do that is you kind of open the thing 90 degrees first, and then uh, you can hang the screen off the edge of your, of your desk and then remove the screws and then you can kind of lift it slightly up but anyways um, you will also have to most likely disconnect the um, LCD LVDS connector here <clears throat> to do that you'd have to remove these two screws and take this bracket out and if before you remove the connector here you do want to disconnect the battery and then press and hold the power button for 10 to 15 seconds alright and most likely you will also have to remove the battery because this cable looks like it's going to be blocked by the battery itself so you will have to undo the battery screws and lift the battery out to disconnect the battery completely um, then you got these two cables here uh, i'm pretty sure one's for the trackpad and one's for the keyboard but um again i'm not going to do a complete disassembly on this one um that's pretty much all i'm going to show in here <coughs> I'm not sure what to do about the thing the customer said when it was running really hot. Then they would smell some burning smell, but I don't see anything that would be burning in here. So I'm not sure what can be done about that. Anyways, that's pretty much all there is to this. I'm going to just clean out the dust on this side a little bit as well. But um, yeah, other than that, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and, I'm, and I'll see you all in the next one. <coughs> Excuse me. You're welcome to stay as I put back all the screws. But again, that's pretty much it. All right. Yeah, it's hard to talk with hiccups. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and put back all these screws. Again, if this video helped you, make sure to li like, subscribe, and share my channel with others. If it helped you save a bunch of money, again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and finish putting back all these screws. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Go away, hiccups. <laughs> Got like hiccup burps.
right, last screw. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.